Doba stage. Hi, welcome you back. We are dealing with how to deal wisely with conflict in the marriage. And in the first part of this episode, I exhorted you on the role of the husband and how the husband should deal with the wife when there's a conflict. The final part of this episode will focus on the wife, how she ought to deal wisely with the husband before and during a conflict. And always remember that God's word, which is the Bible, is the final supreme authority. And everything I've been sharing with you from day one comes from his word, his thoughts, his opinions are not my own. Let's look at 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. It says, For after this manner, in the old times, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Wow, I like this. It says, after this manner in other words do likewise like the holy women did they trusted in god and willingly put themselves under the authority of the husbands then he gives us a perfect example of our great mother and woman who called sarah she understanding who her husband was and what it means to be called husband called abraham her husband lord wow i like that he says just like sarah and the holy women did you too understand and do likewise because the word husband means lord or master and so when you say you are getting married to this man you're actually saying that i am bringing myself under the authority of this person who will be my lord and master from now on and that's why jesus says or tells the husbands that the husbands are the heads of their wives so with this understanding we approach conflict with our husbands wisely knowing that they are lord and master over us just like sarah and the holy men of the bible did so you two as daughters of this woman do likewise and again remember that you have become his first daughter and has become your father so how many times have we ever talked back at your father when did you ever speak rudely and shouted at your father when you understand this father-daughter relationship you will never raise your voice at your husband even when you think you are right you will say sorry and you know what? A lot of the times, you will find out that he will come back and apologize to you and say he was actually the one at fault and then rather a sincere apology to you. So how many times have you tried to tell your father what to do? If you have anything you think he should know, please present it as a suggestion. Don't tell him what to do. Men don't like that because of their ego. Present your case as a suggestion. Don't tell him that do this, do that. Present it as a suggestion. Oh, I think we should do this. What about this? But don't say do this or do that. Men don't like that because of their ego. And when you present it as a suggestion, many of the times he will listen to you. If you tell him what to do, he will resist you and he doesn't like that. Let's look at Proverbs chapter 16 verse 14. It says, The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. So you can put a wise woman or a wise wife or pacify the wrath of the king listen in every man there is the beast and there is the king if you awaken the beast in him you as a woman will suffer you see the man can get angry get red but a foolish woman will add more fire to the anger by her constant outburst and cutting words and a foolish woman will always anger her husband by her disobedience and if the husband doesn't have control over his anger at that time you become a punching bag because at that moment your husband sees you as another man trying to compete or undermine his authority and he will fight you that is why a lot of men when they see their wives at best or when their women are shouting and their emotions are very high they try to leave the scene to prevent any nasty situation but you know what many women will not allow their men to leave that scene they will try to put their men there but men know that if they stay in that scene with your constant outburst and shout it will irritate them and they become angry and the more they become angry the more chances that they may do something they don't like so they try to leave that scene and that is the wisest decision to do for a man if you see your wife shouting or her emotions are very high try to leave the scene to to make sure she calms down and then later you can come back and talk things out so remember when you see your husband's leaving let them leave the scene quietly so he wants you to calm down so that when he comes back you can solve the issue out but if you also awaken the king in him, you'll be treated as a queen. 
a wise wife would always exalt her husband over her bad her obedience even in an argument and you'll be crowned as well so know which one to trigger do you want a beast or do you want a king and a wise woman would always use her words to calm her husband within second that's why Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 says that a soft answer turneth away wrath but grievous words stir up anger did you see that he says a soft answer a kind answer a humble and mild answer gentle answer calms the storms but a harsh word that is when you talk back at him harshly will make things work so with your soft answer you can calm your angry man at that moment and again remember that we said in marriage it involves three personalities that is the wife the husband and the Lord Jesus Christ and if you recognize the third part which is the Lord Jesus Christ and give him his place in your marriage his word and his will will always be your final authority that is what is the Lord saying what is his word saying concerning the moment and the, or the situation surrounding that conflict if you both of you that is the husband and the wife will give his word supreme authority in your life and your marriage there will never be a conflict between both of you even if conflict arises his word will be that solution for that conflict because you'll be asking yourself what does the word say in such a moment and not my husband's words or my wife's words but the word of the Lord will stand if you give him that recognition in your marriage because he is the third party in your marriage and the head of that you know not the husband the husband is the head of the woman and the Christ is the head of the man and Christ is the head of the union not the man so if you recognize this authority and give him his place in your marriage his word will be the last standing point. What is the Lord saying in that situation of conflict? Not what you are saying as a wife or not what you are saying as a husband, but what is the Lord saying? What does his word say concerning this situation? And a wise wife is like a wise assistant would always point success, glory, good result to the leader, that is the husband, and would always show the leader and do not make your husband wives do not make your husbands look bad in the eyes of your children while you play the good mother a wise husband will always point a wife to the word of the lord and always makes her wife look good in the eyes of the children that is why james chapter 5 verse 16 says confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much hallelujah and then colossians chapter 3 verse 8 to 10 says but now ye do also put off all this anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him glory to god so this is how you solve a conflict between the husband and the wife when you know that your husband is your father and you know that your wife is your first daughter and then you give the lord jesus christ the preeminence in your marriage because he will have the final say in your marriage that is what is the lord saying what does his word say concerning this situation at that moment not what you think as a husband, not what you think as a wife, but what is the word of the Lord saying? Because the Lord is the final or the head of the union. That is your marriage, not the man. Hallelujah. Now you may ask, what happens if the conflict is not solved and your marriage is at the verge of divorce? Well, I'll be talking to you on unresolved conflict and divorce in our next episode. And I hope this episode has blessed you and you will diligently walk in the light of it. For it is the one that does the word that is blessed, not the one who only hears it, but the one who does the word. Hey, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thanks for watching. God bless you.